Hi everyone. Um, this is a video response to Paul Martin. Uh, you made a video last night talking about a couple of different things and one of the things that you brought up was why is it that so many ex-Jehovah's Witnesses accept the Watchtower label of apostate? I think that's how you phrased it. Why is it that so many ex-Jehovah's Witnesses accept the Watchtower label of apostate? And since I'm one that identifies myself as an apostate, I would like to, to answer that on why I choose to identify myself as an apostate. This is by no means critical of those who choose not to. Um, this is just my own personal reason. So anybody who happens to be watching this, please don't take, don't take offense um, if you see things differently than I do, um, because it's just my personal reasons. You, you mentioned that it was a watchtower loaded word that it has, the Watchtower has its own definition for apostate. Um, you also mentioned that it is a trigger word, and I agree. It is a trigger word directly linked to one of the Watchtower instilled phobias. Um, and those are the reasons, those are two reasons that I choose to identify as an apostate. You know, it, the way you phrased it is it, accepting the Watchtower label. This is not about me accepting the Watchtower label. This is about me taking ownership I'm taking that word back. The Watchtower has it one way. I've taken it back. It has a different meaning to me today. Um, it, it, I wear it as a badge of honor. You know, I wear it proudly. You know, and the reasons are is it sends a very clear message to the Watchtower. You know, do I think the Watchtower or the men in New York are losing any sleep over my little YouTube channel? Of course not. But I am a drop in the growing ocean of voices of ex-members. You know, I they fear us. That is why they have that watchtower instilled phobia. So I am proud to announce publicly that I am an apostate. I am one of the many that you need to fear because I'm free of your mind control. Your tricks, your manipulations, your excuses don't work on me anymore. I have the goods on you. I've researched, I have facts, I have information, and I'm not afraid to talk about it. Yeah. So to me, apostate has a different meaning now. To me, apostate is somebody that they should fear. So I'm proud to be part of, I'm proud to, to identify as an apostate because they should be afraid of those of us who are speaking out. So yeah, I wear it proudly. It has, it, it's taking that word back. Um, you know, in learning about mind control and, uh, you know, all mind control groups have their trigger words. And, uh, for instance, if, imagine a former Mooney that every time he hears the word moon, that he can actually visualize himself on the floor bowing down to the man. Yeah. You have to take those trigger words back and make them your own. And that's what I've done here. So it sends a clear message. It's a big <laughs> to the watchtower that you... Your games no longer work on me. I'm an apostate, and you're right to fear me. And so that's why I wear it as a badge of honor. The other side is, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses that may be looking. You know, it's like they're going to get turned off if you identify as an apostate. They're going to be afraid. They're going to click off your channel and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I do want to share a little story about when I first got on YouTube. And some of you know this and some of you don't. Um, but I had been researching the Watchtower for a while. And the Watchtower was starting to crumble and I was still in the fray, afraid mode. Um, I was still terrified of going to certain websites and I was still terrified of apostates. I was still breaking out in the sweats and getting sick to my stomach and all that kind of stuff. And I finally got on YouTube and I did a, a, a YouTube search of Jehovah's Witnesses and saw this nice little innocuous YouTube name, channel name, and a nice little picture, and I clicked on it. It's a nice little intro song, and when the intro song was over, it was J.W. Fairy Tale with all his makeup and full-fledged screaming at the screen, and I just was like, they're right, apostates are scary, and I couldn't quick click it off quick enough. It absolutely just scared the crap out of me, and it took a while before I got back on YouTube. But here I am. That did not deter me from learning the truth. You know, once I was on that journey, and once I was willing to start looking, I was on the journey. And I wasn't going to let one little thing 
stop my search. And another thing was as I got back on YouTube and started watching, you know, videos and started listening to people and, you know, a lot of you, you did identify as an apostate. I'm an apostate, I'm an apostate, I'm an apostate. And what I started seeing was, you're not the boogeyman. So as I started seeing people identifying themselves as apostate and I'd get over the initial shock and actually listen to the evidence and, and what they were really saying, that watchtower phobia started to lose power because these were real people. You know, the watchtower had painted them as one way in my head, and I'm seeing something different firsthand. You know, sure, some of them wore makeup, and some of them wore tat had tattoos or funky colors in their hair or facial piercing or all kinds of other things that are funky according to the watchtower. But I was seeing real people, and I was not seeing the big, bad, scary boogeyman that the watchtower had put in my head, and it lost power. That word lost its power in, according to the Watchtower phobia. So I'm not worried about Jehovah's Witnesses who may click on my channel and get scared because I've called myself an apostate and click off. Because if they're on the search for truth, they're going to find what they need. It's, it's inevitable. Once those, those doubts start solidifying into actual, you can actually start seeing that there's a problem it's inevitable that they're going to search to the end. And my little channel of identifying as an apostate isn't going to stop somebody who's interested in learning the truth, or the truth about the truth, the way some people say. So I identify as an apostate. I wear it as a badge. I reclaimed that trigger word as my own. And I love that it's a big <laughs> to the watchtower. I just love that. That's just the bonus, the icing on the cake. So this went longer than I expected, but that is why I identify as an apostate. It's not laying down and taking it. It's, it's I'm taking ownership of it. It's, a, it's an action on my part. I deliberately own that word because it means something different to me today. And it's that difference that I'm proud of today. Anyway, that's all I have. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.